Hi, I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at the cousin of the SK140, the SK140 DRGB from Fantex. Almost the same, it's just it's got lights, so it'll go faster. Because you know, light moves at the speed of light. So, you know, obviously, any fan that's got lights on it is going to move faster. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. It's just this obsession that people have with using fans that have lights on them is just just burning up like extra electricity, and it doesn't help the computer at all. Because if you're spending all of your time looking at the lights in your case, you didn't need a computer in the first place. You needed to get an infinity mirror. You know, it's an actual mirror that's designed kind of like the infinity frame, um, hub on a fan or the infinity hub uh, or on the water block, that kind of thing. That's where you need what you need to have. You don't need these lights. They're just a waste of money. Okay, so I got these as a three-pack, as you can see. So this is what one of them looks like. And it's also it's got um, nine blades, and just like the other one, it comes with those little rings that go on the posts for mounting your fan, and it comes with screws, of course. Plus, since I got a three pack, it comes with a three way splitter to tidy things up a little bit, and it's got non-standard ARGB connector. This is a three pin SM JST connector. We got male and female. And the PWM connector is standard. So let's go ahead and look at the lighting first because you know I know you guys are crazy about lights even though lights are useless. So to my mind it's okay but not really that good. I think they chose the wrong translucency. And so, especially on the front, the colors don't show up as well as on the back, especially the the colors in the red end of the spec. It's just, you know, it's just, just okay. Just okay, that's all. Let's uh, take a listen then. Now that you've seen the quality of the lighting. Are you ready to rotate? I am. <laughs> Come on, little Fanny. Oh, don't be like that. Come on, Fantex. Don't. There we go. All right, let's get you down to low speed. Okay, that's pretty low right there. The LED light on my fan controller is barely on. And I really can't hear it. Now there's a little hum. Not too terribly loud, actually. That's that's actually decent. But let's check out the uh, pressure. I'm sure it's going to be disappointing. Yeah, it's about the same as the other one. And on the box, it says it's the same. You know, which is what you would expect. But in my experience with all these fans I've got, Sometimes when you have two products that should be the same, one's got light, one doesn't, for example, they're not. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, look at the specs. Oh, by the way, again, good for a case fan, exhaust and intake, maybe um, on a heat sink too. 
but um, in other regards, I would say it's going to be um, not okay for radiators. The Fantex SK PWM Fan 140 DRGB or PH dash. F one forty SK underscore DRGB underscore PWM underscore WT zero one underscore three P because it's a three pack. That's a mouthful. Yep, yep. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, one fan is about fifteen dollars as opposed to the non lit ones, which are nine dollars. It's certified UK CAC and RHS. Don't know where it's made because Fantex doesn't want you to know. Apparently, one hundred forty by twenty five millimeters. Greater than 40,000 hours of life and two-year warranty, 12 DRGB LEDs, and they're compatible with Asus, Gigabyte, Razer, Chroma, MSI, and ASRock, maybe. No, not maybe, but we're just not sure about like the details because they didn't provide details like they did for the other ones. Um and then uh, the weight is 165 grams, 11 blades. I'm sorry, I said nine before. Wait a second. I think they. I think that's wrong. I think that's supposed to be nine. And now I'm curious. Did I get the other one wrong too? Well, all right. Well, I'll go look. You're right. Yep, it's nine blades on the other one too. Silly me. Now, as far as the specifications. Basically the same, although the cable, I'm sorry, the noise level is supposed to be 30 instead of 36. I don't know how that's even possible when the specifications are identical, but that's, let's see. Yep, that's what it says on here. Hold on a second. Wait a second. Can this possibly be true? This is what happens when you have problems with brain fog because of an undiagnosed illness. And... You have eye problems, too. Hooray. So, yeah, actually, this is supposed to be 30 as well. So, sorry about that. Fan cable, 56, maybe 56 and a half. Maybe they're just not really super precise about it, so there's some variance. Not daisy chainable, not sleeved. The LEDs, the cable is three and a half centimeters. That can't be right. Oh, boy. I was having a rough day, I guess. Can I just re-record this part? No. Okay. All right. I just got to be honest. I must have really been struggling when I recorded the specifications for these two uh, fans because it's not a three and a half centimeter cable, which I knew as soon as I saw that that was wrong. It's a 30 centimeter cable, and I apologize. I really have been having a, some medical struggles and I'm actually on medical leave because of injuries at Amazon so hurry there um, so yeah it's daisy chainable but not sleeve PWM the uh, LED cable is SMJST 3 pin <clears throat> and you're wondering why do I have to say 3, three pin because there's also 4 pin and stuff uh, it's rifle bearing so cheap there they cut some costs in that regard 12 volts starting with 4 up to 13 and 3 watts 0.25 amps and then for the LEDs most companies do not provide the specifications this is uh, 5 volts but we don't know the amps and watts I don't know why uh, companies think it's not important especially because there are places where electricity is exceedingly expensive now rotation and flow are indicated turns in a clockwise direction you get four screws you get corner cushions and you get the PWM three to one 46 centimeter splitter I'd like to thank Grindler at bleeping computer for allowing me to share my videos and posts on his website bleeping computer has a lot of resources including vetted programs malware removal instructions, uh, malware removal volunteers, uh, other kinds of volunteers for IT, cybersecurity information, and more. It's a great place to go. Give it a try. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.